Have you noticed new load posting signs at some bridges across Montana? To comply with updated federal requirements and to continue to protect drivers, the Montana Department of Transportation is placing new load posting signs at bridges around the state. These signs provide information about how much weight can safely pass over a bridge without causing damage. They show maximum weight limits for different vehicle types. Did you know that many of Montana's bridges were built during the Great Depression, including over 1,200 timber bridges? We still use hundreds of these bridges today, which are now more than 70 years old. Load posting signs play an important role in protecting these and other bridges. Updated signs also reflect new specialized hauling vehicles, or SHVs, that can carry heavier loads than other vehicle types have in the past. These short, heavy vehicles can cause higher stresses than some bridges were designed for, so weight restrictions are needed to ensure safe operations. The signs prevent certain loads from crossing and overstressing bridges, which could lead to both visible and hidden damage, and eventual bridge closure or failure. So, what do these new signs mean for you? A posted bridge is safe to use, but the weight of certain vehicles must be limited accordingly. When you see a load posting sign, read it to understand if your vehicle can safely cross the bridge. If your vehicle type exceeds posted weight limits, you'll need to find another route or lighten your load. It's against Montana law for an overweight vehicle to cross a bridge. Plan your route by using our interactive map at bit.ly slash bridge load. Keep this rule of thumb in mind when approaching a posted bridge. If you've got a truck, don't test your luck. Following load posting signs will help keep drivers and bridges safe. Visit bit.ly slash bridge load to learn more about bridge load postings.